Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you wish. Uh, before we start, you know, we have a picture in the thumb of the video and some they say, why you have such a bad picture? Uh, first of all, for those who say those words, um, I think you are a hypocrite. I mean, if you see it bad, why you are here? I'm not really sure. I mean, so there is a picture of a girl wearing short clothes or a bikini or whatever, and yet you click to see. Hmm. And you complain. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. All right, Abdul. Thank you very much. The topic today is not really about this picture. It's about something else. Oh. Uh, but let us first speak about what, why we are posting this girl in the in the in the front. This girl, her name is Moda Al Adham. She have one point six million followers in Instagram. In there is another app. It's called TikTok. I don't know what is that. Uh, I don't know how many millions they follow her. The Egyptian government they found that she is a threat to the nation now why she is a threat to the nation i mean obviously she is i mean come on if you search for her in google you will find this and that is a big threat I mean, it's not the drugs which every citizen in Egypt almost take it is a threat. No, no. You know, I mean, this is a country have a billy dancers in every corner, nightclub in every corner, a drugs dealer in every corner. According to Egypt government, almost every citizen he take drugs every day. And then this girl is the problem for Egypt. What? What she did? What happened exactly? How this girl she became a threat? She was arrested by the order of the Attorney General. If, 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 why? What happened? <laughs> Egyptian TikTok influencer arrested for violation of family value. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, in a country where they practice marriage for children, following Muhammad, a man, he can beat his wife. It's okay. Having four wives, it's fine. Uh, 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 beating women is okay. Uh, uh, you know, beating uh, the children is okay. Uh, I mean, everything is fine. But this girl, she, uh, she destroyed the family uh, value. So the, f the, the attorney general and the Minister of Justice and the President himself is interested to stop this madness. Somebody have to stop this girl. She is a threat to the nation. And right away, the police in every department in Cairo start searching for the girl. Fee Shofi for, for sure, because she is bigger threat than Israel. Israel is not a threat no more to Egypt. No, 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 no. The vice police arrested her on the vice police himself. Okay, she had fled her wrist. Look, look at this poor girl. I mean, whoever she is, what she do? This girl, she dance in the front of the mirror. She wear a short skirt. She, you know, she do stupid things in Instagram. I mean, th 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 how silly this government and how silly this nation. How silly. You know what silly mean? But in fact, behind the scene, there is a story. You see, most of us, we see the news, but we don't understand what is behind the news. Those government, they don't do things just for no reason. You know, they do it for a reason. And the reason is not that girl. If we go in uh, in YouTube, I mean, you can search her name in YouTube. You will find tons of videos of her. And she, what she is doing. I mean, stupid stuff like uh, uh, dancing in front of a car, wearing short, uh, uh, you know, singing with somebody. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, stupid, silly stuff. 
So how does women she destroy the family value in a country is following Muhammad, teaching in school that if you kill some Christians, it's okay. In the University of Al-Azhar, in their books, in the high school book, it says, if somebody is a Muslim, he stops praying, it is halal to eat him without cooking him. If he's a Christian, you should cook him. That is not against the family value of Egypt government. But this girl is against the family value. I mean, look at her. I mean, we have to be honest here. She is destroying the family value of what? Of a great Islamic nation. Teaching in their official schools, as her is considered uh, uh, follow, you know, under the government control, that you can eat. You know what? Eat, eat, eat. You can eat. If a Muslim he he, he stopped praying, he is a murtad. You can eat him. You can eat him without cooking him. You can see the video actually in YouTube. Nobody get arrested. Not the Sheikh of Al Azhar. Not the Sheikhs of the university. Not the teachers. Not the the book author. Nobody. Nobody. That's it. You know, you can eat a person. You're talking. You know, but this girl, obviously, she is a threat. And how she do threat? You see, I will see if there is a video I can play without a uh, uh, violation of music, because always she put music in the video. Hold on. Let me see if I can find something. <clears throat> Just to show you what we are talking about. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how this how this girl, she is violating the family value. You know. Okay, here we go just to show you uh, uh, some of her violation for the family value uh, give me a second I did mute the sound so YouTube will not go after us for look how she is violating the family value of Egypt yep she destroyed the family value like what the heck is that the value the family value of Egypt is gone Horrible. I mean, what do you want more disgusting than this? The family value of Egypt is under a threat. Oh, I mean, how you do this? Oh, family value, my friend. That's hello. How you do this? You are destroying the family value of Egypt. The drugs is okay. Prostitution is okay. Night club in every corner is okay. But you dance in the street? What is this? She is destroying the family value. Man. Look what she did to the family value of the Muslims in Egypt. Oh, oh, okay. This is destroying the family value big deal because her skirt is short. I mean, we have to admit here, the skirt is short, so this is destroy the family value of Egypt. It's, it's a threat. Her skirt is a threat. It's a threat to Allah. It's a threat to uh, to uh, to the Prophet. I mean, your heaven, all of it is about this. And actually, she did nothing compared to the heaven of Allah. You know, how come the Quran, which is saying Allah will give you, promise you women with big boobs, is not a problem? It's not a threat for the family value. How come the Quran saying I will give you women who nobody did put anything inside their private part is not against the family value? How come the Quran teaching in the chapter of the divorce about uh, 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 divorcing a child and marrying a child is not destruction for family value? But this girl, she is destroying the family value. That's really something disgusting. Man. Obviously, she is, you know, uh, a threat. And you know, put yourself in the in the in the shoes of the Egyptian president, and you have a citizen like this in your country. What do you do? You arrest her. And if we arrest her, there's no hungry in the street in Egypt, and there's nobody, no prostitution, no more, uh, no child molestation. Nobody is going to marry children as the prophet he ordered to do. But this girl, she is a problem. I mean, that's it. Now we go. Now we put her in jail, and God knows what she what they will do to her. You can imagine with this filthy police and that government. 
what they would do to this woman. You know, you can imagine, use your imagination. Uh, we have to arrest her. And, you know, I mean, now Egypt now is better without her. The funny is, every week there is something like this. It's not like only now, you see, if we go to the news. Let me just let us search in. Uh, <clears throat> because I want to explain to you something. It's not uh, this why I'm not really talking about her, but I want to show you how those government function. Uh, if we search in the last month, how many people get arrested for the same reason we see here? <clears throat> they are willing to attach you to any accusation they wish and the purpose is to keep the nation busy and we will explain that to you Egyptian Tok Tok store Hanin Hussan this is a different woman arresting for inciting and they are accusing her of uh, prostitution because this woman she was saying you can open your camera and like you no know, like an Instagram or whatever application or certain applications and you can many make money from there you know from home so obviously she is in inciting prostitution but the prostitution is a big business in Egypt all the Arab Saudi rich ones they go to Egypt for prostitution they don't even they don't even visit the museum there they visit only the bars so how come if you are against prostitution but all the bars are open in Egypt all the night clubs are open in Egypt why well, you don't close them why well, they are open right so here we see we have a Muslim saying Farid you challenge me in real life my friend get a life and get lost with your Farid he's a kid the one who cannot he don't have even the courage to call me in Skype you think he will debate me in real life all of you are a bunch of potato like your prophet and between my fingers I smash you the same I smash a walnut Stupid idiot is it tells me in lean life in lean life. Yeah, lean life is it this is and if he wanna tell me in lean life, so why is making videos for me? Here we go, you are making videos in YouTube already. All the different is to speak to me life. <laughs> A bunch of potatoes. And your profit is my joke. Now we go back to our topic. Every week there is somebody is arrested from TikTok, from Instagram, and the same problem, the same accusation. But why the Egyptian government they do that? I mean, all the drug dealers, all the problem the country has, why they are busy with those silly stuff? This is silly, this is stupid. When you are in a nation, the majority of it is uneducated. The majority of it do not know how to read, how to write how we can keep the normal average muslim citizen busy from the real problem we keep him busy with those stuff always they create a problem and they put it in the screen of the tv to make everybody speak about it and forget about the real problem that the president is a corrupt the ministers are corrupt the army is corrupt the police is corrupt the sheikhs are corrupt literally the whole country is corrupt and now this girl, this girl, she is the problem. She is the problem. In the time of the previous president, they used to try to do different game. What they do? They asked the Islamists to put a bomb in a church. And that will take the attention and make tension between the Christians and the Muslims in the country. So now the Christian and the Muslims are in tension and they might even go in a civil war between each other and the government now is relaxing because they forgot about there's no bread to eat and there's no jobs and there's no electricity and there's no salary and there's no money and there's no schools and there's no trains and there's no good there's nothing so always they create those problems so they can keep the average fool citizen busy otherwise do you think really a government they really care for such a girl and look each time they want to arrest one of them the first thing she do she wear hijab this is the trick 
when she heard that they will arrest her, she did wear the hijab, brother. The other women, she is the same. The other women, she is the same. Hey, all of them, when they were here, they're going to be arrested. Suddenly she put hijab and she became hajji. I mean, what happened? Now she is wearing hijab. That's it. We found a solution. We wear hijab. Right? So, I just wanted to make this video to show you that those people, they don't really, I mean, uh, 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 it's, it's a shallow. The average, those who they are educated and smart in the country, sadly, they are a little number. The majority of country, they don't even know how to read their name. And in order to keep those majority busy, and especially the Islamist, we have to give them some sacrifice. You know, when you sacrifice somebody for the sake of the target you have, this is what they do. Those are sacrifice. They sacrifice them so the crowd will cool down. The crowd majority is Muslims. How we can keep the crowd majority Muslims from supporting the Muslim terrorists, as an example? We show them that we are practicing Islam. And how we can show them that we are practicing Islam? <laughs> By going after those girls. Hello. <laughs> and now suddenly, the government will earn the support of the citizen. Because look, our president, he took a stand against this woman. He is a good Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, brother. And by doing that, the president now, he will earn more support as a good Muslim president. Who will not allow anyone to do a threat to the family value. Do you understand the game? Are we understanding the game? It's a game. And those naive Muslims, they think that as this government is really doing a good job going after those people. So now the rating of this government will go higher. The president of Egypt, which is this guy. Let me show you his uh, picture. I always, when I see him, I, for some reason, you know, he remind me of La Vache Curie, uh, the picture of the cow of the French uh, uh, cheese. You know, La Vache Curie, the cow, the laughing cow. He's like that. You know, he's silly, stupid when he talk. I mean, it's like a guy doing diarrhea. This guy, he is fighting the Islamist in Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood. Now, how he can earn the support of Islamists who they are not supporting the Islamist, which means a normal average Muslim who support Islam but he have no idea even what Islam is about except having four wives and boom boom how we can get his support by going after little children like this woman we arrest her we make a big news about it and that will make us look like heroes we are the one who preserving the Islamic family value and this way, the sheikhs will praise the president. The Islamists will respect the president. Do you know what I mean? Very dirty, filthy game. So they use religion to subjugate their nation. How I can control people? I accuse you to be apostate. Or I accuse you to be doing something against God. And then I slaughter you in the name of God. As simple as that. How I can make those terrorists happy? Those who support, you know, going against anyone against Islam. Those who want Sharia Allah. How I can show them that I am not against you. But in the same time, this guy, he would not close the night clubs. He is the same exactly as Erdogan. You know Erdogan? Erdogan, he make big speeches. Big, huge speeches. 
Islam is a solution for nation. Islam is the best thing for mankind. Islam is etc. When they ask him, why you don't close the night clubs then and forbid alcohol in Turkey? His minister answer. His minister answer. He said, if we uh, actually the, the head of the, the Islamic department, he answered, if we close all the night clubs, we are out of income. It is the one who paid for our salary. And then everybody shut up. Let me see if I can find uh, uh, <coughs> the news. I forgot uh, what it was the title. But all of us, we knew that Erdogan <coughs> uh, I see I'm trying to find it. Oh, well, I see now they are Turkey closing night club because of coronavirus, not because of Islam. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you see, why Erdogan, who is a president for the last, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years of Turkey? How come he did not close one single night club which selling alcohol and the prostitution, the biggest, biggest business in Turkey is prostitution. But this guy is Islamist. He recite Quran each time he go to TV before he speak. Why he don't shut them down? Because the whole country live by this. The whole country. Let us change the search. Turkey Night Club. Now we want to see the news. Oof. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All is halal. Yeah. So, uh, all those regime, they use religion as their horse. So they can jump in the top of the back of the people. And Erdogan is no better. In order to conquer his enemies, he used religion, God. Muslims support him, but yet he don't want to practice Islam. He speaks very good about Islam, but he don't want Islam in his nation, in his government. This is Turkey. This is Turkey under Erdogan. So where is Turkey before Erdogan? It's the same. So what Erdogan did? Nothing. So how he is Islamist? Where is the Islamist country of Turkey? Where we can find it? How the Muslim Brotherhood, they, uh, they control Turkey, but this is Turkey. Because simply, they cannot force themselves on the crowd. The majority of the crowd, they don't care for Islam. They like the idea, propaganda, maybe. They, they vote for it, but still the majority, they are against practice. Or let us say they want their own version of Islam, which as you see in the screen. This is what the Islam they want. This is their night clubs. Alhamdulillah. So I wanted just to share this video, short video with you, so you can understand that in those countries, they speak too much about family value, but they are the last one who can carry it, or he can even speak about it. Child molestation, a child pornography, a child trafficking, human trafficking, in slavery, all can't. This, this is a country where a human right doesn't exist. This is a country where a human being can disappear and nobody hear about him again. 
Yet this girl, she became the problem. What she did, what she did. Oh, look what she did. She is doing, what is that, macaroni? <laughs> she is wearing short skirt. She is dancing. She is wearing Santa Claus. <laughs> You know, I'm so glad she did not do what Aisha she used to do. Aisha she ordered her nieces to do breastfeeding for anyone when I enter upon her. What if this girl she established a channel and she have a camera life where any man when I enter upon her he have to nurse from her sister breast before he enter upon her? Is she going to be arrested for breaking the family value? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid? silly system more than this so now this girl she is going to be a victim of this government just to make the crowd have something to chew in like a gum you know she will be a gum this is her with her mother she, her mother is wearing a hijab so now god knows what they will do to her you know mostly they will rape her you know and will torture her and will you know you can imagine what will happen exactly but obviously all of this I mean ask yourself for a second aren't you ashamed even to be a government to arrest such a girl whatever she is doing what she is doing dancing in front of the camera this is the problem but the reason for it she is a chosen because as we showed you she have a huge number of followers you see this is her this is her account this is in Instagram she have 1.6 millions which mean I mean nobody like what she do to the point she have 1.6 million followers I mean she is breaking the family value to the point there is 1.6 million Egyptian they are subscribing to what she do I mean do you see how much Egyptian people don't like her to the point they subscribe to her and I will not be surprised by the way that those who make videos speak against her they are subscribers too because how you watch her why how you know even about her why you are if she is bad why you are watching her it's like the Muslim who click at my channel and he say, aren't you Christian? How you pose this picture? Okay, if this picture is bad for you, why are you clicking it? So now they will make this women and always those poor women, when they hear they are going to be, you can imagine how, uh, how much, uh, uh, you know, like uh, she, how much scared she is. You know, the whole country is after you. The whole country, the government, the president, the police, the, the, the intelligence, the army intelligence, the minister of, of police. I mean, everybody is after her and then she wore hijab. Now she is a good Muslim girl. Like, okay, she's saying, okay, please don't arrest me, please. I will wear hijab. Just leave me alone. Do you see how they, they intimidate you? This is all is a form of intimidation. If Islam is a true religion, you do not need to do that. Well, you know, if you don't like her behavior, talk to her, ask her, you know, why you do that, etc. Talk to her, convince her not to do so. How she is breaking the law. Right? How she did break the law. What is the family value they are talking about? Marrying children is okay. Four wives is okay. Beating wife is okay. And now this girl, she is dancing in front of the mirror. She is destroying the family value. But they want a victim. A victim in Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of slaughtering victims. So they will make her a victim. So she will be chewed by the Muslim crowd. And the Muslim, they will forget about the government and what the government is doing. That is the truth. You know, if you don't, if I don't know, like what happened in Egypt, I will say, what you know, I don't know.
but if I go right now if I go and type one word let me do this <clears throat> This is what they do in the street in Egypt. In the street. If I play for you the videos, you will not believe it, my friend. I'm serious, you will not believe it. Look at this, I don't know if you can see. I will not play it because you will not believe. So how come the, the government don't see this? This is something happening every day in the street. And mostly they do it when they have the prophet birthday. The prophet birthday. So how come that poor girl she is arrested and those who they do this is the this is a normal job in Egypt they do it everywhere and in the street not in a private place in the street in, in a public street those are not arrested it's okay but that girl simply because they need a victim who is famous she became her fault her big problem is she became very well known. She have 1.6 million subscriber. They needed a victim and the victim have to be well known. So people will forget about what the government is doing and they will focus on this poor girl. And now she became the problem of Egypt and Egypt is suffering because of her. Right? Don't you say that they don't let Muslims in because they don't pay CP? I'm, I'm not sure what you mean, image X. Speak English, my friend. Uh, so when you see something in the news, don't, you know, I mean, they, their news is silly, the same as their system. Uh, thank God I don't live in those countries no more because those countries they not only the the everything they do is again i mean this girl she want to dance what's your problem what's your problem you are a good sheikh you are a good muslim supposedly okay don't watch her if none of the muslim watch her nobody will see her and nobody will know her you know what i'm saying if she is a bad person why you are there Why you are there? She is bad. Don't go to the bad if she is bad. But obviously, all of them they are watching. The whole nation is watching her. The whole nation is interested in her. But the whole nation now they are washing their hand from her oh you know she is a bad woman she is a disgusting but we like to watch her videos <laughs> we love her dance man did you see her dance brother very very hypocrite nation hmm. my friend what stories i don't care i mean she she is a poor girl i mean what whatever she is doing i saw something like before I go live, I check some of her uh, posts in uh, Instagram. I mean, she, she is not doing anything. I mean, what is that? Watch any Egyptian movie, and I guarantee you, you will see one million times more than what she do. You will see a real porn scene in the movie. Egyptian movies, which is put in the government TV. Every Egyptian watch it, and the actors, they love them, and nobody complains. No one complained. If we go right now in YouTube, <laughs> I wish I can play for you some videos because you will die laughing. <clears throat> Let me choose an actor who is a Muslim Brotherhood. <laughs> He's a Muslim Brotherhood. 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> All right. This is a Muslim Brotherhood Sheikh, and he's an actor. He's very well known. His name Hassan Youssef. I mean, what what's wrong he's doing? Nobody will arrest him. Is he going to be arrested? In the Egyptian TV, every Egyptian Muslim watch his videos, and he is proud about him. All their movies is nothing but prostitution, literally. And then this girl, she became a problem, brother. A brother. I mean, anyone who is from Egypt, he knew what I'm talking about. This is a very famous... Uh, Actually, I wish I can play for you all the, I mean, many, but there's tons of movies. <laughs> and this guy, this this guy, his, his daughter is married to a big guy in the Muslim Brotherhood organization. His name is Adil Imam. How come he is not arrested, brother? This is your movie, brother. He did not break the family value, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to be polite and not to show you what is in the movie, honestly, because the movies, you will not believe what those movies. But yet this girl, she broke the, fam the family value. Why you don't arrest those people? Arrest them. No, no way. Those, they did not break the family value. They, they did not. Obviously, the family value in the Egyptian movies are very protected. I mean, very much protected. We have to admit. Right? <clears throat> family value. Ask any, any Arab guy, have you ever watched any movie is not full of belly dancing and, and prostitution and sex and etc.? I mean, oh, suddenly, brother, if I show you even the songs they play in their TV, you will not believe it. Their, their songs, even their so uh, songs is, is porn. Oh, boy. I don't know where, where to go. This is a song. Excuse me. I'm not going to show the whole screen. This is their video songs and their TV. And this is their, their beloved artist and a singer. Yet nobody arrested her for, uh, you know, I mean, what, what, what's it called? All their singers, all their, I mean. But this girl, she broke the family value. Da -da 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 and now the president have to arrest her and blah, 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 you know. So my friend, if you don't live in an Islamic country, pray and say, thank you, God, I don't live there. This is the land of hypocrisy and being silly. And you can be a victim anytime. All what they need to do, just point their finger at you and you will disappear. And now this poor girl, regardless if you agree with her or not, they made her a threat for the nation for what wearing short skirt, dancing in front of the camera, dancing in front of the mirror, going some crazy stuff. And, you know, she obviously she is looking for attention, whatever it is. She is not a drug dealer. She did not hurt anyone. She did not kill anyone. Why you want to arrest her? Because we are Muslims and we preserve the family value. But your prophet, he said, you can marry four wives and have them in the same house. 
and do boom boom with them. Your prophet, he said, you can have sex with the children. Your prophet, he says, you beat your wife. Your prophet, he says, you can divorce a child after marrying the child. Your prophet, he said, and he said, and he said, even your wife, she can do breastfeed for adult, a stranger. How this girl, she broke the family value. So I wanted the Muslim to watch this video and see the hypocrisy. They remind me when Jesus, he said, like before you see the little thing in the eye of your brother, see the big tree in your eye. Their nation is the most corrupt nations in the world. The king, the prince, the president, the police, the judges, everything is corrupt. Everything. And nobody speak about God, about honor, about honesty, about dignity as much as they do. And the fact, the more they speak about it because they don't have it. So they came only to talk about it, but we don't have it. And as you see, if this girl is so bad, why we have 1.6 million Muslim subscriber? She's bad. <laughs> Why the Muslims are not subscribing to me? <laughs> A question to the decent Muslims. If she is bad, and I am bad too for you. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? They say, they say that Christian Prince is bad. Okay. And this girl, she is bad. Okay, so why, why she have 1.6 million subscriber? Why I don't have 1.6 million subscribers like her? I mean, this is not fair. What she can do, I cannot do. <laughs> She's bad. And according to you, I am bad too. <laughs> so why you Muslim subscribe by tens of hundreds of thousands, millions to her, but you don't subscribe to me? Is for both she is bad, I am bad. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Islamic garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. And those girls actually they expose their, their taboo. You know, this is a Islam is a taboo, is a cult inside the coffin. The second you let the coffin breathe, it's the same second you you smell the the garbage. And this girl, she make them smell bad. Not because she is bad. No, she is better than them. She is better than all of them. At least she is not teaching hate. She don't want to kill anyone. She don't want to kill no Christian, no Jews, no atheist, nobody. Which one is better? A woman, she is teaching her child, we should kill the Christians. We should kill the Jews. We should kill the, the, the Hindus. We should kill the atheist or this girl. At least this girl is hurting nobody. Her shoe... Her shoe is better than a terrorist. And again, my question to the Muslims, as long as you subscribe only to bad people, she have 1.6 million subscri subscribers. <laughs> and as long for you, I'm a bad too. I want you to support me, please, Muslims, and get me 1.6 Muslims subscribing to my channel. <laughs> What a bunch of hypocrites. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep this video. Feel free to download it as we, soon as we finish because, as you know, I don't keep videos on my channel. But as you see, you know, I feel sorry for this girl. I feel sorry for anyone living in those countries. Garbage in, garbage out. They have no dignity. They have no honor. And they are looking always for a victim. And everybody suddenly play that he is the angel when all of them, they are. 180 degree the opposite of what they claim and if this girl is bad ask yourself how come she is so famous for them and there is millions subscribed to her and they watch her and they follow her video she's bad why you watch her as long as you're a good person why you watch her be good go watch Quran watch Zach and Nick today I'm going to tell you a miracle there is a girl, her name is Muda Adam. And she wears a red dress. And when she wears a red dress and she's done dancing, brother, 
الا ان ذا انجل ذا ستار دانسي وذ هير ان اسلام از تيكين ان سيمبلي وان سي موف هير هاند اسلام ان مسلم ات جو كريزي ان ويتو ذا ستوب هير الحمد لله والحمد لله ذا تكلو بلاي سيكو ذا بلاي هذا سير رايت Light of all nations. The Mafrut. Talk about the Messiahiyat, the Mahtufat. My friend, you you talk about it. No problem. Why you don't talk about it? This is our topic today. You don't like it, leave. You know, this is one of the funny things about some Christians too. They want to dictate to you what you should talk about. I mean, today you should talk about the Christian girls who kidnapped in Egypt. Who said we did not talk about them? I mean, what's, what's wrong with those people? Do you think I'm a waiter for you and this is a restaurant? You go inside the wait and the, the restaurant, hey, hey, Christian Prince, talk about this today. You don't like the topic, don't stop. Don't stop here. Don't tell me what to do. You do it. Maybe, I'm, I'm, maybe I am not good like you. Maybe I am not as smart like you. If you see something I did not talk about and you want to talk about, you talk about it. You, do you have a half tongue? No. Somebody cut your tongue? The cat ate it? Why me? Always I have to talk about everything. So they come here and they dictate to you what you should talk about. Even the thumb. Why you put this thumb? Aren't you Christian? Why you? I mean, they dictate to you what you should talk about, what you should. And my friend, I am not here to be your taxi driver. Okay, so why you are talking about this? This is the topic because we wanted to people to be aware how the system work. It's about intimidation and they use always a victim to give it to chew by the crowd. The crowd, the majority are Muslims and they are uneducated and they are, you know, they fool them with those stories. And now we keep them busy for a time instead of being busy with the country corruption and problems of jobs and works and money. We make them uh, busy with silly stuff. It's just a way to make them stay away from the truth. Right? This is the whole point. We want people to be aware of this. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not against anyone to have his opinion. No problem. But don't tell me why you are talking about this. You should talk about that. You can leave a comment says, can you talk about this topic? Be nice. Uh, I will see if I did not talk about it yet. I will. Why not? But my friend, I mean, how many times I go live on air every day? And how many hours I spend with you? Still people complain. I mean, can you believe it? I mean, this poor guy, Christian Prince, he don't even take a break to go to do some stuff for two hours and then he came back on air. And now after a few hours, I have to wake up in the morning to do life again, streaming, so we can help our uh, uh, family in, in Indonesia. But people complain. It doesn't matter what you do. People complain about Christ himself. Why do they want to complain about me? My friend, my friend, light, no problem. But don't tell me, please, why you don't talk about this talk. About, this, is, this is very important because we are explaining to people the hypocrisy of Islam. This is very important. We are trying to make people understand what is behind the scene, how the system works, how this cult function. So because somebody, because look, you know, what, what, what's happening with this girl, if this girl is successful, to be free and to act as she wish, then what if we have a million girl like her tomorrow? Islam is gone. Do you understand? This is why this girl is a threat. Even though she did not debate about Islam and she did not say I am an atheist and she say I am believing Allah. Look, even she is posting here a verse when a soldier uh, uh, killed in Egypt she is posting a verse from the Quran. But those are a threat to Islam because then the Muslims, they will be the same as Muslims in Turkey, but they are already the same as Muslims in Turkey and Egypt. Big mouth when they speak about Islam, but in the street they are not what they say. 
drugs in everywhere, prostitution everywhere, theft, crimes everywhere. And then when it's come to Allah, suddenly everybody is an angel. And now, by putting her in jail, look, the second she heard she will be arrested, she wore hijab. Do you see the point? You get the point? She put hijab because they they arrested her under under the accusation of threatening the family value. So we need to explain to people how the system work and how they function, how they think they are evil. They are evil. This poor girl now she will be the gum in the mouth of every islamist in egypt now for some time and then next week they will arrest someone else you see this is the this is the the, the the propaganda every week we have a new story all of them the same story last week they arrested a girl different girl let me see which what her name This one, let us show you. This one. This is when, what is the date? Uh, 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 this is uh, uh, in the uh, 4th, 22, 22nd, all right? Egyptian TikTok star uh, Hanin Hussam arrested for inciting uh, debug, uh, debug, uh, what? debuggery for or over call for five streams. All right. So any anything, you know, anything you say, anything in the country. I mean, the country is full of prostitution. But if one of them, she said something, suddenly the whole country is all over her. At least this girl, maybe she... She is like she is out of the line compared to the other girl. But every week there is somebody they put him in the screen and they have to give him to be chewed by the crowd. It's like you have you have a, like a, a, a thousand dog and you know those terrorists. You know the the how you how you can keep their mouth busy because those terrorists Islamic terrorists either they will bite the government or you have to give them somebody to bite in. So usually, either they slaughter some Christian in the church to keep the to keep the the nation busy between Coptic Christians and Muslims in Egypt. So everybody, the Coptic and the Muslim, they will forget about their being poor. There's no jobs. There's no electricity. So now, what the problem? Islam is a Christianity in Egypt, and the government always used to be behind all terrorist attack. The terrorists they work for them. All what they need to do, they open the doors for them. They release them from jail. It's like you have you have a dog. He's he's a, he's a terrorist, and you want him to bite somebody. So what do you do? You open the door for him to go in the street, and they knew exactly who they will bite. So the uh, previous president Mubarak, he used to do always that when he have a problem in the country. Suddenly, an explosion happened in a church. The same for Assadat. All of them they are the same faith, the same garbage. This guy. Uh, the new president, he have different strategy. He need the Christians to stand with him because all the Muslim Brotherhood is against him. So he cannot unleash his puppies and his dogs to kill the Christians in the churches. But we have to keep the Islamists busy. So what we do? We start giving them those stories in the, in the screen. And those will be the one that to chew in. And you will see every new week will be somebody is getting arrested every new week especially in the month of ramadan but if you ask yourself anyone have little dignity uh, light light uh, guys, Light Light of Nation, he is, uh, I think he is translating my videos in his channel. So what about we subscribe to his channel? 
as you see his name is light of nation all, all, all nation if you don't mind support him and sub subscribe to his channel even if you don't understand his language actually he is posting my videos which means still you can watch but he add Arabic subtitle all right so if you don't mind subscribe to light channel post your name light say something in the text so people can see your your channel and they can click at your name all right so the idea is how we can keep the crowd busy busy what with, with stupid stuff ask yourself if you are a muslim and you are listening is it really worth it that the whole government of egypt is going after this girl which he did which he did really i mean your country is full of billy dancers all the famous actors they do a porn scene in life on tv why she is arrested is that fair simply is not about fear it's about they needed a victim and this is not only about Egypt by the way don't think I'm talking about it this is all the Middle East all Middle Eastern countries is the same garbage Iraq Syria Jordan I mean you name it nobody speak about dignity God prayer as they do but when you go and live between them you will see nothing but corruption it is the land of corruption you cannot even find a decent grocery to buy this is how much corruption they are suffering from you cannot find a butcher who can buy a, a, a decent meat imagine they kill cats and dogs and donkeys and they sell them as beef <laughs> so you go home you don't know what you are eating you are eating a beef or a donkey or a cat or a dog this is the Middle East but all of them they grow beard and all of them they wear white clothes on the Friday and they are praying to Allah but in reality it is the most corrupt land ever this is the reason really actually made me leave those countries it's disgusting you know what disgusting even the gas is not gas they mix it with water even the diesel is not diesel they mix it with water even olive oil is not olive oil they mix it with false oil this is the Middle East nobody speak about God as they do but you cannot find one decent grocery store in the country one decent butcher I never bought a tomato and I did not throw half of it in the garbage and you can ask any Middle Eastern if this is true or not they put the good tomato in front of you like they line the tomato let me let me show you how they do it just to give you an idea <laughs> <coughs> sorry my allergy okay I will give you an idea uh, how they how stores function there I don't know even what to search for I forgot what the word to search for in Arabic <clears throat> by the way the only time I speak in Arabic is here I mean when I do live broadcast and uh, uh, otherwise I don't really associate with uh, with our people um. <clears throat> uh, 
Let us see. I cannot even find one picture to show you how they, they sell. Anyway, so the guy who is in the store, he is the one who will pick up the tomato. He will not let you pick up the tomato by yourself. So he will put the damaged one in the bottom of your case. And then he will put a few good ones in the top. When you go home, supposedly you got, let's say, three kilograms of tomato. You go home, you found that half, half of them is garbage, literally garbage, is damaged, is the, the, the juice is coming out there is insect inside them they put the good ones in the top and the bad one in the underneath of the case like this let us say this is store like this <clears throat> So you see this look look wonderful look nice beautiful so you, he said to you how, how much you want you say i want uh, three kilogram or well, four kilogram and right away next to him he have a case where it's full of damaged tomatoes he want to get rid of them so what he do half of the tomato will be damaged and the top half will be good one so always this is why many when they buy like let us say you are going to eat a, a half a, a half kilo so what you what you buy you buy one kilo because you know that half kilo is going to be thrown away so you buy the double you know this is what they do if you go in a grocery store uh, <clears throat> they put next to the cashier let us say uh, a cigarette box cigarette box next to the cashier machine so you come to pay uh, and he add the cigarette box to your bill and then you go out mostly nobody calculate uh, check the bill you know nobody check the receipt he give you and most of the case actually in there there's no receipt at all so if you discover that there is something more you paid for more than it should you go back, you say, why you challenge me, etc. money? You say, oh, isn't it this cigarette box for you? you? Say, what cigarette box? I did not buy a cigarette box. Oh, you know what? Look, it's still here. You did not take it. I thought this is for you. <laughs> they charge the same cigarette box for uh, every customer go through the store. Every customer. He pay. They charge him for the same cigarette box or they put like a, a box of matches or they put they put anything and they put it next to the cashier machine and later he will claim that he thought it's for you. Right? Corruption. Now you might see like different kind of stores exist like in Dubai, etc. Because now they, you know, those are billionaires. They, they 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 scam you in different way, but this is how it is in normal average market. You know, <clears throat> uh, the point is that the Bible speak about this kind of people. They speak so good, they do so bad. What they do have nothing to do with what they speak about. And what they speak about have nothing to do with what they do. That's why we have to be careful. All right? So, I really feel sorry for anyone who lives in the Middle East. It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Christian. Honestly, it's the land of unjust, the land of no dignity, the land of hypocrisy, and in such a land, the wolves eat the sheep, and today they get their sheep. This woman today is in the meal, in the dish of millions who they are hungry for a victim. 
You see, Islamic Islamic regimes and Islamic propaganda and Islamic countries, they remind me of the savagery of a human being long time ago. Nothing changed. Still the same. Always they have to sacrifice someone to God. This God, he have to be happy. He have to chew in the blood of somebody. And today, they got a victim. So who's going to be the victim tomorrow? Watch their news and you will see. Every few days, they have a new victim. And they will choose their victim carefully. 1.6 million followers. So if you are an Egyptian and you have a big number of followers, get ready, you're next. <laughs> oh boy, this is what it is. It is what it is. Thank you guys for being here. Tomorrow we are going to go live to get this Abdul. His name is Insane or Insane Busted. And uh, invite your friends and share the name of the video. And this video, I will keep it there maybe for an hour or two and I will take it down. So if you like to download it, take it, share it. And download it otherwise i will take it uh, from my page thank you may the lord bless you and i pray that this girl she will find help regardless if i agree with her or not because at the end of the day i believe she's a victim and i believe that life is not being fair and those countries are hypocrites and we should not be like them you agree with her or not this is not really what, what is the reason to, the, to make nation, the whole nation, step her in her back and cut her by their knives. This is filthy. What is, what is the human right department? What is the human right? You know, when the, you know, Trump, Trump, he, he want to make a law against China for mistreating the, Ch the Chinese Muslims. How come Trump is giving all the assistance for the Egyptian government? Don't you see? Are you blind? Are you blind, filthy Trump? How in the world this girl she got arrested for what a crime? So you see what the Chinese doing to the Muslim, but you don't see what the Chinese government doing to the Christians. Millions of Christians, their churches are destroyed. Trump, he don't see it. European Union don't see it. France don't see it. But they see that you go the Muslims. All the discrimination happened in Egypt, the torture, the filth in Saudi Arabia, in Emirat, in Bahrain, in Qatar. They don't see it. They don't. In Turkey, there's hundreds of thousands who they are politically arrested. For political reason, you believe it? Tens of thousands of teachers in Turkey arrested. Trump don't see it. Turkey, Erdogan is a friend. We have good relationship with Erdogan. <laughs> My friend, we live in the world of garbage and hypocrisy. Garbage. They make you sick. For they are sick. Those who they are governing Islamic countries and those who they are governing non-Islamic countries, they are not better. They are sick. They are filthy. They are hypocrite. They are for sale. All of them is about business. In Saudi Arabia, if you say one word against the king, you disappear. You, you and your family. If you leave Islam, you disappear. But Trump, he don't see it. Do he? No, he don't. <laughs> there is not single church in Saudi Arabia. Did Trump complain about the mistreatment of millions of Christians who work in Saudi Arabia yet but didn't have a church? Did Trump complain why there is not a single graveyard for the Christian in Saudi Arabia? Imagine you can work in Saudi Arabia but you cannot die in Saudi Arabia. Trump don't see it. Neither Obama saw it. Neither Clinton saw it. Neither the president before him, George Bush, see it. They don't see it. For all of them, they are like dogs. You know dogs? They have hunger to money. They don't worship God. They have no dignity. They are dogs, all those presidents. 
Human right against China is just a political tool. Now they are angry from China. They want something from China. So what we do? We threat them with the Uyghur. If China do what we want, we will forget about the Uyghur. As simple as that. Garbage. And what we can do in USA, if we don't vote for a Trump, we will get a donkey like Joe Biden or like Hillary Clinton. So we have no choice except to vote for the mule Trump. You know, in America, we don't have a choice. They bring us two kind of animals. One is a donkey and one is a mule. So which one you vote for? One will kick you in your nuts and the other one will kick you in your mouth. Choose one. Which one? Both of them, they will kick you. So we have no choice but to vote for Trump. But not because he's the good guy. The fact he's not. He's a hypocrite. He's a businessman. All what he cares for is making money. How? It doesn't matter. From where? It doesn't matter. All right. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, all of them, they are scammers and all of them, they are fraud. And, you know, people, they, they just, uh, you know. But for me, if you ask me, if next election, you will vote for who? I will say Trump. I mean, do we have better? As I said, we have no choice. <laughs> we have no choice. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I pray that all of us, we understand. You see, we don't speak against country. I'm not speaking against Egyptian. Don't take me wrong. There's wonderful people in Egypt. There's wonderful people in Iraq, in Syria, but we are talking about the system. The system is corrupt. And religion is a big game in that system. Religion is behind all the corruption. Those people, they kill you and they go in your funeral for the corruption system is like that. They kill you and then they go in your funeral. And they, But don't be surprised if they bring flowers too in their hands. This is how they work. We have to stand for justice, even if it's for Muslims. Because when injustice win, we lose, all of us. Christian, Muslims, all of us, we lose. We should defend justice. I don't know this, this girl. Actually, she is a Muslim at the end of the day. But yet, it makes me angry to see what's happening. It's a shame. If you go and see in the news, I mean, the media, they are talking about what? They are talking about what? Stupid things. The girlfriend of a football player, she posted her picture. She was doing manicure for her toes. She was doing what? And why this is a news? And where is the human right? And where is Ivanka Trump who was going to support women? How come Ivanka Trump should not say something? Why this girl is arrested? Oh, Ivanka Trump is busy doing her nails too. You know, she is busy visiting the princess of Imarat who want to give her expensive clothing as gift. The Queen of England is busy visiting the Sultan of Oman, so he will give her priceless gifts. This is what they are busy doing, you know. They visit those Arab princes for the sake of money. Each time they go there, they give them a diamond for two or three million dollars. Do you ask yourself why Princess Diana, she was, <laughs> you know, she was a specialist with Arab guys? Did you ask yourself and why all of them they are filthy rich? <laughs> business they have no dignity they have no honor they call them princes they call them queens but they have no dignity no dignity and the truth hurt as simple as that so 
We fight for justice, doesn't matter for who, even if she is a Muslim, we fight for her justice because this is not right. You agree with her or not? She did not commit a crime. She did not kill. She did not hurt. She did not teach hate. So why you arrest her? Because she is dancing, she is wearing a short skirt. When all your country watch in TV Billy dancing every day, how come suddenly all of them they became so religious? How come suddenly a government who claimed to be secular against the Muslim Brotherhood suddenly became so religious and they are going after a girl dancing in front of the mirror? What a shame. What a disgusting government. May the Lord have mercy on us and we pray for this girl. She will be saved from their hands. And you never know. Do you remember the girl who ran away from uh, Saudi Arabia who remember her I think her name is Alim I forgot her name she ran away from Saudi Arabia and then uh, <coughs> Just last week, I saw the news that she became a Christian. Uh, I forgot her name. You see, we don't make a big deal about those things. Uh, here we go. Uh, her name is Faiza al -Materi. She converted to Christianity, and I saw actually her post in uh, uh, in Instagram, and uh, I think it's Instagram or Twitter. So freedom activists say no. Saudi activist Faiz al Matari under fire after converting from Islam to Christianity, and this is her. You see, when they put their pressure on them then they will see the truth that this is a garbage cult the system is corrupt this religion does not bring solution bring garbage and right away they seek a solution look what she is saying here in arabic those who speak arabic in their twitter she is saying Al an la lima la turid. freedom is to say no to what what you don't want when i was a muslim woman i was sad afraid but today i am a, a strong christian woman who love and feel secure and belong to the blessing of the lord actually here we go the translation is here freedom is to say no to whatever you don't want i was sad scared muslim women and today i am strong loving and converted uh, and so and conferred Christian women who grows in grace of the Lord. All right. So, you know, they, they think by, by arresting them, chasing them, you know, they will make them, uh, they will intimidate them. But all of this will lead to one thing. People, they, they cannot take it no more. This garbage, nobody want it no more. We are, we are not living in the cave time no more. You cannot control them. The internet destroys Islam. Those women, they see how the world is. And those who want Islam to be practiced, Islam is not even a human practice. I mean, how beating a woman is a human practice. How beating a wife is a human practice. How having sex with the children is a human practice. How cutting hands and fingers is a human practice how circumcision for women is a human practice how i mean what is what is in this religion is a human practice anyway i want to say thank you guys for being here don't forget to download the video as i said we will not keep it for long and see you tomorrow morning in my time which is going to be uh, i don't know what in your time check uh, the, the video we have a Muslim from Indonesia who supposed he think he is smart <laughs> obviously he is so tomorrow we are going to respond to him and the question is this coward he never respond to anything I say 
And today, when he make his video, he just get himself busted by himself. And you will see how. Thank you very much, guys. May the Lord bless you. And if, please don't forget to subscribe to our brother, El El Light. Uh, Light, please post something so people, they can see you. He translate my videos to Arabic, but he is using my Arabic too. Especially if you are a person who speak Arabic, support him. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.